date and a trip to Knoxville. Yeah. The men's and women's tennis teams had their selection show tonight on the NCAA tournament. WBIR Sports 10 reporter David Sheely was there with the team as they found out their fate. He joins us with their reactions. David. Thank you, Lewis. The men's tennis team held a watch party tonight. They socialized and enjoyed some pizza, too. They waited a while, but they're the 14th seed, and they'll be hosting Radford on Friday. You know you're good enough, but you never know when you're going to see it come to fruition. And that's kind of what happened this year. And, you know, it happened to be in the SEC tournament, which is a nice time to get it going. And, you know, like I tell our guys, we're one team meeting away from being done. So we'll have to see what happens. After the men's selection show, it was the Lady Balls' turn to see their name on the NCAA tournament bracket. Check out their reaction to making the tournament versus the reaction to who they'll be playing. Moving on, Tennessee. Hey. Combined, Tennessee's first opponent is Furman. 26 and 1 with Southern Conference automatic the 26 and one Furman Paladins, a tough opponent, but head coach Allison Ojeda says the Lady Balls can handle it. It's so good for our teams to be pushed. You know, our teams, we need, if we want to be the best, we got to beat the best. There's no question about it. And in Furman, they, I mean, they've done an excellent job this year. They're a good team. There's somebody who we put on our schedule in order to help, to help us get ready for SECs because we, we know they're going to come out ready to compete every time they play. I appreciate the fact that the girls were a little bit shocked by that. But with that said, leaving that meeting, they're ready to go. The Lady Balls lost team member Gabby Shuck before their first match, before their first match, and she's still not in the active lineup. Coach Ojeda said something seemed off after Shuck was hurt, so she went to Coach Rick Barnes about it. Barnes told her that Shuck's presence was needed at practice, so Coach Ojeda brought her back, and the team's energy was right back where it needed to be, and now they're in the NCAA tournament. Lewis. 